Hey, what's up guys? This is Nine. So I had a little bit of troubles with my old intro song. It's kind of complicated. I don't want to get into it here. But just know that I'm looking for a new intro song. So in the next few days, hopefully I'll find something pretty sweet. Anyways, for now, I've got this temporary one. It's pretty cool as well. While you're watching this, if you decide that you are enjoying it, be sure to consider leaving a like. It only takes two seconds and it helps me out tremendously. Hey what's up guys, this is Nine coming at you with another video and today I've got a very exciting topic for you guys that uh, I think is quite unique. I haven't really heard anybody else talking about this. So what I'm going to be talking about is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare versus Call of Duty Online. So Call of Duty Online is an upcoming Call of Duty game that's being developed for the Chinese market. The reason why they're developing a Call of Duty game specifically for the Chinese market is because regular Call of Duty games just don't work over there. First of all, for a really long time, consoles were illegal in China. They're completely banned, you weren't allowed to have them, and for the people over there who did still manage to play Call of Duty, it was always pirated copy, so Activision wasn't making any money on it. What they're doing with Call of Duty Online is making it a free-to-play game, so everybody's gonna be able to play for free, and the way that Activision makes money is by offering people downloadable maps, downloadable weapons, downloadable camos, all that kind of stuff. And that's really the only way you can do it with the Chinese market because that's what they're used to over there. It's a lot different than North America because we're all used to paying for $60 games, $70 games. But over in China, everybody plays free-to-play games with microtransactions. So Call of Duty like we know it doesn't really work over there. Now here's an interesting bit of news that I wanted to share with you guys. This right here is really what inspired me to make this video today. So here it is. Last month, at the end of June, it was revealed that in the next version of Call of Duty online, they're going to have English voiceovers. So the way this got out is because the official operations team for Call of Duty Online was talking with some of the players who had played the game over the official Call of Duty Online forums uh, on their website. They like to do this quite a lot because they get a ton of player feedback on their game. They're trying to make it as best as possible and they keep on having these different stages of development where they're letting players play the game, give them feedback, and then make improvements based on that. Now this is really exciting to me because that means they might be thinking of bringing this over to the North American and European audiences. I think this would be an amazing idea. Call of Duty Online would do so well here. They've done so many amazing things with the game already and it's not even complete yet. They're still developing the game. It's still a work in progress. I've played it. I played a really early version of it actually. It's been a few months since I've played it but it is so much fun. So let me tell you about a few things that they've been doing with the game. So first of all, I think everybody has heard about the Robot Zombies game mode. It's basically like zombies from Treyarch Call of Duty games, except instead of zombies, they went with the robots because it works better for the Chinese market. It's a cultural thing, it just works better with China. As you can see in this artwork here, there's also robot dogs, and in the very back there's that bigger one. It's kind of like a an alien or something, or just like a really big robot, I don't know. That bigger one actually wasn't in the version version that I played a few months ago, it's something that they added more recently. So something else that they've done with Call of Duty Online, this was actually really recent, is they added Chaos Mode. So Chaos Mode, it was in Modern Warfare 3, it's basically hordes of enemies that just run towards you and you have to stay alive for as long as possible. It was kind of like Infinity Ward's version of Zombies, I guess. It wasn't nearly as popular as Zombies. Uh, I personally didn't enjoy it that much compared to Zombies. I mean, Zombies is way more in-depth and way more detailed. But anyways, it's cool to see them adding so much stuff. Like, they just keep on adding stuff to this game. So at the end of last month they also put out a new update that completely renovated their menus. The menus look a lot nicer now and they also went from a COD 4 style HUD in online multiplayer. If you didn't know the online multiplayer is kind of like COD 4, Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2 all combined and they went from the COD 4 style HUD to a Call of Duty Ghost style HUD. So the kill feeds up in the top right corner which I don't know how I feel about that but whatever. It looks a little bit more modern though so that's a good thing. So now let's get into to the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare versus Call of Duty Online bit of this commentary. So I've given you all the background information on Call of Duty Online, I've told you where it's up to now. It's still in development, but it's getting close, and I think that it might be released alongside Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now I'm not saying I think it's going to be pushed hard outside of China upon release. It might take a while before it starts being advertised to the rest of the world, or it might, you know, it's also a possibility it's not ever going to be advertised to the rest of the world. But I think Call of Duty Online is going to be released this year in the year of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So when I say Call of Duty Advanced Warfare versus Call of Duty 
community online, what it really boils down to is that traditional $60 or $70 game model where you pay for the game once and get to enjoy the whole thing for as long as you want versus the free-to-play game model. And we all know free-to-play games are bringing in a lot of money nowadays. For example, League of Legends or Clash of Clans. And Clash of Clans is a mobile game and it's still bringing in tons of money. So Call of Duty Online really has potential here, I think. And why this is so interesting is because Activision has been testing the waters for quite a while now to see if microtransactions will work in the rest of the world. So with Black Ops 2, there was downloadable weapon camels for the first time. There was a downloadable gun. As always, there was downloadable maps. So we've been getting more and more microtransactions. Obviously, in Call of Duty Ghost, they added voice packs for the announcers. They added a skin for the guard dog kill streak. They added a whole bunch of of downloadable weapon camos so it really seems to me like Activision wants to know if a free-to-play game is going to work in the rest of the world outside of just China I would assume that Call of Duty online is gonna be a huge deciding factor here to see if North Americans pick it up and if Europeans pick it up and if the rest of the world starts playing Call of Duty online and I think Call of Duty online is gonna do extremely well outside of China because if youtubers start playing it it's gonna get really popular I've played a little bit of Call of Duty online myself and I really enjoyed it I had a little bit of gameplay up on my channel, but apparently Activision didn't want it up. Uh, I think it was because it was alpha gameplay, so maybe when the game is fully released, they're going to allow people to post it up on their YouTube channels, I would hope. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Call of Duty Online is going to be popular outside of China? Because really, it's just a mashup between Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, and a little bit of Modern Warfare 3 right now. It seems like they're always expanding it because they just recently started adding a few elements of Modern Warfare 3 into it. For example, I think they are putting in the AS-50 sniper rifle into Call of Duty Online for Modern Warfare 3. Uh, that's about as much as I've noticed for Modern Warfare 3 stuff in Call of Duty Online, but it seems like they're going to keep on adding stuff, and they even put the HUD from Call of Duty Ghost in, like the kill feed in the top right and the same style and everything. So, do you think it's going to be popular outside of China? It is basically a mashup of Call of Duty games that we've already played, but to me, that's extremely fun because I just go back and play older Call of Duty games anyways, and if they're going to keep on adding new stuff, like they're adding completely new weapons to it. There's a new weapon called the Car T. It's a new weapon that's never been in a Call of Duty game before, and I think that's the huge appeal of a free-to-play Call of Duty game to me, is that they're going to have tons of DLC weapons. So as long as it's balanced properly, I guess that's the biggest question. Is it going to be balanced properly? Is it going to be fair? Is it going to be competitive without having to spend hundreds of dollars on the game? There's a lot of what-ifs to be considered, and there's a lot of places where it just could go terribly wrong. Like, something I hate about free-to-play games is when they make you pay for stuff that's temporary. Like, you pay for a weapon and it expires in two days, or, you know, after you use it for a hundred games, it disappears. That is the most annoying thing ever, and if I ever play a free-to-play game like that where anything you buy is temporary, I immediately stop playing. If I if I notice something like that, uh, I'm not going to support that game. So I hope that doesn't happen with Call of Duty. But if they if they make it so everything you purchase is permanent and, you know, they don't make it so the most expensive weapons are extremely overpowered or anything stupid like that, then I would say I support Call of Duty going free to play, but we've been paying for these expensive Call of Duty games and they've been starting to add microtransactions into the games anyways. They're putting in DLC camos, DLC announcer packs, DLC skins, and this is still for a full price Call of Duty game. That's what we've been dealing with over the last couple years. So would it really be that bad to have a free-to-play Call of Duty game instead and drop the initial 60 or $70, whatever that Call of Duty costs? The fact that we've been getting bombarded with microtransactions and Call of Duty ghosts anyways really makes a free-to-play Call of Duty game make a lot of sense to the consumer. And the idea of an abundance of DLC sniper rifles is the biggest appeal to me. In the last few Call of Duty games, there hasn't been very many options as a sniper. There's not very many sniper rifles available. It's going to be really really interesting to see how Call of Duty Online does in comparison to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Are people really going to appreciate the amount of options they have in terms of weapons, the amount of snipe rifles there are available, the amount of SMGs, assault rifles, all the different kinds of weapons? There's going to be, I assume, way more than what there is in a regular Call of Duty game if they're relying on money that's being brought in from downloadable weapons and other downloadable content. So a lot of people don't know this, but Raven Software has actually started helping with the development of Call of Duty Online. 
Raven previously has worked on Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, and Call of Duty Ghosts. Before Raven started helping out with the development of Call of Duty Online, it was just Tencent doing the development. So Tencent is a Chinese developer, and it seems to me, since Raven started working on Call of Duty Online, it's really starting to look a lot more modern. They've added things like lens flare and some nicer textures. It's looking a lot like a modern Call of Duty game now. It used to look a little bit more like Call of Duty 4, like when I played it a few months ago, but now like seeing screenshots, they're really impressive. Even the lighting is super nice now, so I think the game is looking amazing and it has a lot of potential. So I know a lot of you guys are probably going to ask me about if you guys can play the game right now, so I'll go into it a little bit to give you some insight onto how it all works. Uh, basically, the game is still not fully released. So what they've been doing is going through these stages of development where they let players in to play the game, to try it out, give feedback, and then they kick them off and develop the game a little bit more and then let them in again over and over and over to try and improve the game as much as possible before the official release. As far as I know, they haven't announced an official release date yet, but there's tons of people playing the game right now as one of the testing phases. The game is starting to look extremely polished, it's getting really good feedback, and I would think they've got to announce an official release date soon. Now when I played it a few months ago, it was extremely hard to actually get access to the game. I think you need to be approved or something and the process was pretty complicated. At the end of last month, I believe they opened the floodgates for a short period of time and let a whole bunch of people in. I'm not exactly sure what's happening with it today, but just know like, if you're going to try and figure out how to play it, uh, it's generally extremely complicated. I know it'll let you download the game pretty much no matter what, but to actually be able to log in, it's a little bit of a headache. Now, as far as I know, Activision doesn't want any Call of Duty online gameplay up on YouTube. That's why I'm not posting any. Uh, I did post some in the past, but I took it down because somebody told me that Activision didn't want it up. So I'm going to wait until the game is fully released and I guess get some confirmation that we're actually allowed to post it because I don't want to piss Activision off. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare versus Call of Duty Online. Will the free-to-play game model be successful enough to justify bringing it over to the rest of the world and actually advertising a free-to-play Call of Duty in North America and in Europe and not just leaving it to China only? Personally, I think it would be really interesting to see a free-to-play Call of Duty game outside of China. I would kind of like it because I like all the, the weapons that that means that we'll get. So leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Do you think a free-to-play Call of Duty game would be successful outside of China? Do you think that it would be a good thing for the consumer? Let me know guys and also if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like. I really appreciate it. It only takes two seconds and it helps me out tremendously. By the way to everybody who thought I died, yes I did but don't be ridiculous. Come on it's in my name. I have nine lives. I'm not going anywhere. So <laughs> thanks for watching guys and thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. See you next time with a new video. Peace.